Alright, this is my bearded dragon cage. It is where I keep my bearded dragon. Obviously. There he is. His name's Rocky. Um, he's just about full grown, but he's still got some bulking up to do. Um, there's his basking spot. I keep that from 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. There's his plant. He likes to sit up there sometimes. And there's his water dish. Um, I bought that from the pet store, just at PetSmart. And he seems to really like it. He just sits in there most most of the time. He's not today because it's kind of cold today. So, And there's usually where he sleeps. It's just a little tunnel. Um, yeah, those are about $16 at the pet store. But I just went up to an old log and peeled the bark off. And put it in the oven. And it works just as good. Because I wasn't about to pay $16 for a piece of bark. Uh, I just use sand for the bedding. But I might change it. Because it gets all in the glass and stuff. So whenever I try and open the doors. It makes a really horrible sound. So I might change it to coconut fibers. And I just use pegboard for the back. Just for good ventilation. Uh, for Rocky, I used uh, just a UVB light like that, and just one from the pet store, 10.0 uh, UVB, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this one was $30, but that's what he needs. Like, if you're not going to get a basking light, but this is what you need. Like, he won't survive long without this. If he doesn't have this, he'll get uh, metabolic bone disease. Which is basically uh, his bones don't get enough of the vitamins uh, they're supposed to get from the sun normally. So basically his bones become uh, not well nourished and they just become brittle and they break really easily. And it's just a slow and painful death for your lizard. So if you do get a lizard, any kind of lizard, make sure to get uh, a UVB bulb. I'd say it's one of the most important things. And... That's his basking light. It's just a 100 watt bulb from the pet store with the aluminum foil around the sides or dipped in aluminum. So it makes more of a spotlight kind of. And I'll feed him some crickets, but I'm not going to feed him his full amount because I already fed him today. He's supposed I feed him about 25 crickets a day. And I'm only feeding him two right now. Um, I dust all their crickets with calcium powder, just like that. Um, if you're going to get a snake or a blue tongue skink or anything that's like kind of nocturnal or always hiding, may, and if you want to get one of the UV lights, but they don't need them, and if you're going to give them uh, calcium powder, make sure it doesn't have vitamin D3 like this one. Or else their bones will be overnourished and they'll just like grow out of their skin. And it's kind of nasty. It hasn't happened to me before because I made sure not to give them calcium powder with vitamin D3. Um, but if you're not going to have a light like this in, you should give them calcium powder with vitamin D3. But if you're not giving them the calcium powder, then make sure to have a light. They need one of the two. Well, yeah, they do. Um... This is the light that I got for him. See, it's just from the pet store. So yeah, I'll feed him some crickets. This is his red container. He likes that. He knows exactly what it is. He likes to get his beard pet. Um, he's an omnivore, so he'll eat crickets, uh, mealworms, earthworms, waxworms, superworms, butterworms, basically any kind of uh, insect or invertebrate. And he eats, he'll eat this bearded dragon food that I got him. It's just kibble. It's uh.
this is stuff right here. It's about eight dollars a bag, but he likes that. And uh, I usually give him some green peppers and uh, romaine lettuce, but I found out recently that you're not supposed to give them romaine lettuce. It won't hurt them, but it's got it's mostly water, so it's not really good for them. Because it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. But I usually feed them dandelion greens or uh, grapes. Uh, nothing citrus like oranges or lime or lemon or anything like that. Or pineapple. It doesn't agree with them. And uh, cucumbers. Any type of vegetable. Uh, make sure not to feed them iceberg lettuce or spinach. Spinach is very bad for them. Same with any lizard. You're not supposed to feed them spinach. And yeah, his favorite thing is applesauce. Uh, that's his favorite treat. So yeah, that's my bearded dragon.